Well, with the touchdown on the space shuttle that we mentioned this morning, it really is the end of that era for NASA. Yeah, but as the shuttle program draws to a close, at least one astronaut says there's much to be proud of and plenty to hope for the future. Ann Cutler talked to an astronaut from right around here, Fred Hayes, about the moon and beyond. Between lunar orbit and the silver screen, you've probably seen Fred Hayes, or maybe you recognize him as Bill Paxton. 78-year-old Hayes was a lunar module pilot on Apollo 13. Oh, let's just go. The near tragic NASA mission turned Hollywood thriller. I liked it. I wish they had not exaggerated my upset stomach and uh, throw up, but other than that, uh, that was a Hollywood throw up too. Ignition Apollo 13 was an invaluable test mission for NASA. In many ways, the Apollo program itself was one great experiment. Hayes says aside from landing on the moon and the technological advancements, the greatest accomplishment was the fact of uh, taking on a challenge that uh, proved that we as a nation, if we set our heart into it and backed it properly, could be done. Of course, work didn't stop after Apollo. Hayes was a test pilot in the shuttle program and helped develop the International Space Station. With Space Shuttle Atlantis back on solid ground, New Orleans can be proud to have had Tulane grad Doug Hurley pilot the final mission. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. And although the shuttle program lacked the world-changing impact of a lunar landing, Hayes says it taught us self-reliance. If we're really going to go very far in space, and I'm talking about eventually to another star system, it's going to be a very big vehicle. Virtually, you're going to have your small Earth to make that trip. The future of the space program may not just be for astronauts alone. One day, people like you and I could find ourselves in something like this. In fact, the Orion spacecraft, which could take people to an asteroid or even Mars, is being assembled here in New Orleans at Michoud. But at this point, there's no planned program or funding to back it up. That's why Hayes is investing in a different way. He's helping design the massive Infinity Center at Stennis. When finished, it'll host 100,000 students each year, two-thirds of those from Louisiana schools. To me, it's a way of inspiring some of these students uh, to become engineers and scientists and uh, be ready uh, to serve in a similar way that I did uh, on a space program as it evolves uh, downstream. And Hayes has big ideas for our future in space, hoping one day the entire human race will have a chance to see Earth as he did. We're the first creatures that could do it. We, we could plant our race elsewhere. So as one chapter closes in space exploration, the sky's the limit for the future. That guy's a hero. I think those yeah. astronauts are heroes. They're so cool. Yeah, I've never, man, that is awesome. I never aspired to fly, but, uh, oh my God, just incredible. Watch the movie Apollo 13. It's yeah, good. My, I admire them a whole lot.